everyone. Uh, first, I would like to introduce myself. I am Aisha from Biology Department, Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Sciences, University of Jember, Indonesia. In this next occasion, I would like to present our study result about human immune response of palsy mice post injection by 56 kilodalton immunogenic protein extract from the saliva glands of Iris biopsy. The background of our research was about dengue virus. Dengue virus is a flavi virus with uh, four different serotypes, which are the NV1, the NV2, the NV3, and the NV4. And then uh, the dengue virus is transmitted to humans by Iris aegypti as the main vector. Dengue virus transmission happens when the mosquito during the blood feeding. During the blood feeding, mosquito will inject the saliva. In mosquito saliva, it contains components which are very helpful for the successful of the blood feeding. These components are antihemostasis component and immunomodulatory component. The antihemostasis component is responsible to maintain the blood flow during the blood feeding, whereas the immunomodulatory component is responsible to modulate host immune response, and this component also contributes to the enhancement of virus transmission in host. How is the mechanism this component can enhance the virus transmission? So then talk about the immune response in host against mosquito saliva. So uh, in the primary exposure, the mosquito saliva can alter the normal antiviral immune response from Th1 into Th2 immune response, and it can be marked by the suppression of Th1 cytokines such as interferon gamma, and then also the elevated level of Th2 cytokines uh, such as interleukin-4. As this Th1 immune response cannot be activated, then it means that there is no infected cell killing mechanism in the first uh, exp exposure or first infection of the virus, then it supports the virus spread uh, through the host body. However, in the repeated exposure of the saliva, it can benefit the host because the H2 response can activate the B cells, and then B cells will differentiate into plasma cells which are secreting the antibodies, and then also to the B memory cells, and this kind of immune response can build a humoral immunity of the host against a viral, uh, viral infection, uh, which is transmitted by um, mosquito. Previous study was reported the 56 and 31 kiloton protein as immunogenic proteins and were expected to modulate the host immune response who lives in endemic areas. However, the humoral immune response against 56 kiloton is still unknown. Therefore, the aim of the research was to observe host immune response against 56 kilodalton immunogenic proteins through intravenous study in biopsy mice. So the method that we used were clearing of the Aedes aegypti and then the isolation of salivary glands. Then we did a SDS patch for the profile analysis and then we purified the 56 kilodalton protein, then injected it in mice and then we collected the blood serum from the mice and then we uh, analyzed the IgG level in serum with indirect ELISA. So directly we go to the IgG analysis result. As you could see here, the black bar as the C group uh, was treated with 56 kilodalton protein uh, mm -hmm. shows uh, the higher level of IgG compared with other groups. The other IgG analysis also gave some results. As we could see here from the average humoral immune response, the C group, which was treated by the 56 kilodalton protein, uh, exhibited higher IgG level compared with the other groups which were not treated by the 56 kilodalton protein. And then in the population humoral immune response IgG analysis also uh, gave some result, and also we could see here that. Uh, in the C group, the IgG level gradually increased along with the increase of 56 kiloton exposure. So from that study results, we could confirm that 56 kiloton protein from Iris IgG is immunogenic, and then the repeated exposure of 56 kiloton protein led to the Th2 immune response polarization, and then the Th2 immune response will increase B memory cells production and may provide long-term humoral immunity in host. So the conclusion of the study result is the repeated exposure of 56 kilodalton immunogenic protein from Iris aegypti uh, elevated host humoral immune response, and and then uh, it will then give good uh, immunity to the host against uh, the viral infection.
so uh, that's all from my presentation and thank you for your attention